Having a dog can be so expensive. So having these things accessible in like Walmart, Dollar Tree, even Amazon, it's just such a steal. Hey y'all, welcome back to another banging video. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the things I recently purchased for my dogs. Um, I got some things at the dollar store, um, Amazon, I don't think I got too much at Walmart this time, even though I have done hauls specifically from there as well because I think that they offer a lot of good things for dogs at a very affordable price as well. Um, but yeah, we're gonna stick to mainly those stores that I mentioned and I'm just gonna show you guys some of the things I purchased. Um, before we do so, if y'all could please like, comment, and subscribe, I would truly appreciate it because we're on the road to 10K, let's get it. I'm just so excited and for those of you who are new here, I have two dogs. I have a four-year-old Husky. She's going to be five soon. She's more like a Pomsky. She's very little, um, very skinny. I give her food. I, you know, give her the best food. I spend so much money on that. But anyways, she's just always been on the thinner side, which is fine. And then I have a 15-year-old. Um, she's a mixture of a Schnauzer and a Westie. Her name is Whiska, and then uh, my Husky is Luna. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys some some of the things that when I was shopping for other stuff, I just was picking up these things along the way. So this is kind of like a restock, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna start off with, I guess, one of Luna's favorites, which would be right here, these Wild Bites chicken recipe um, from Blue Wilderness. Now, these I actually got at TJ Maxx, so this was um, very much a steal. They're training trees. They're a little bit smaller, if you can't see. So these are really good to train them and to just like get them to do what you need them to um, instead of just having to give them like a huge bone every time they, you know, do something correct. So she's still learning certain things, and that's why I got these. And I'm just a person who do, does like to give them you know like a little reward throughout the day whether it's a toy a treat i usually do take them to the park like things like that so having like a you know a smaller piece of something is good because you don't want to give them too many treats um next up i got these here i'm just gonna finish all the treats and then we'll move into the other stuff i got these um pure vita skin and, and coat dog treats i've never like worked or, or used this brand actually um, I'm actually going to do a little bit more research on it prior to me giving it to the dogs. And if you guys have ever heard of this brand or have any experience with them, please go ahead and let me know. So the main th reason I got this is because it says it's made with real salmon. And one thing about Luna is she has the most beautiful coat, like especially in a husky that I've ever seen and that a lot of people have. And I'm not just saying that because she's mine because I will literally like I call it as it is. But she has a very pretty coat and it's because I've always just given her like honestly great food brush her coat out really good products on her skin so um i've heard that giving them like coconut oil and salmon is even better because it really like hydrates and make their skin extra um their hair extra shiny so considering that these were treats with that already in it i thought that okay well that you know that's probably gonna be good for them but like i said i want to know more about the brand prior to giving it to them it says world's finest ingredients you know like the typical stuff but like I said, I got to do my research. That's how it looks though. And if y'all have worked with them um, or used, you know, like their products, I should say, go ahead and let me know. Um, it's Pure Vita. And these are the, what is it? Limited ingredient skin and coat dog treats. Cause like I said, my, a Husky has like a lot of fur. So it's very good. Like it's very important to keep it, you know, up. It's, you gotta, you gotta keep it up, you know, keep up with it. Um, versus my other dog, she don't really like, her coat don't really matter like that so she can use any treat um these here are the greenies um I, one thing i love to give them are this brand greenies because it obviously freshens up you know their breath their it's good for their teeth things like that their dental treats um this here is the gingerbread flavor they've had the other flavor the regular and stuff and i saw this at the store though and i was like okay bet let me um have them try this one so hopefully they like it. If not, then I'll just go get them the regular ones. But they always do like, you know, the regular greenies. And like I said, even though this has a flavor, I know that it's good for them. So yeah, I'll tell you guys the price of each of this stuff. This doesn't have a price. I think this was like 
six bucks or something like that. Green's gonna be a little bit more expensive. This here was three dollars, and this here was seven, so seven dollars, three dollars, and then this here was, I believe, like six dollars. So you know, um, they were at a good price though because their original retail price is um, higher than the prices I just mentioned. I got all of those at TJ Maxx. Next up, um, at TJ Maxx, I also did grab her a toy. This toy was $3.99. It is basically um, a bottle of rosé and it squeaks really loud. My dog is literally sleeping in the room right next door, so I don't want to squeak it because then she's going to want to come in and play and I really got to finish this video. But yeah, it's from Zippy Paws. That's the brand. And then the price is down here for $3.99 and yeah. She used to have this one when she was little and she like actually really liked it and would play with it a lot. And then it just got dirty, got old, so I had to throw it out. But when I saw it at the store again, I repurchased it because she, I remember she would really play with it. Essentially, there is like a, a water bottle in there, like a empty water bottle in there. And it makes like a crackling noise. You see? I don't want to like do it too loud because I don't want her to come. But um, yeah, so she's going to like this because it squeaks loud. And you can put honestly like... Any t this here, like you can, it's a Velcro, you can un-Velcro it and then put whatever you want in there so that they can play with this all day. So it's very convenient. Um, next thing I got, this was here at Amazon. It is a dog harness and leash set. Um, I got it in a size medium and the pattern, you guys can kind of see it through there. It's kind of like giving Burberry, Burberry vibes. Um, it's really, really cute, but I got it in the size medium and she's a large. Is she crying at the door? I can't hear. I hope she's not crying. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to squeak it because I knew she would cry. But yeah, I got her a medium instead of a large because like I said, she's just all fur, but still the fur takes up space. So I need to, um, return this and actually get her a large um but this was really cute and like i said just a harness a leash just the basic necessities that i feel like every dog should have so next up at the dollar store actually i saw this right here it's just a ball attached to a rope it was an, obviously a dollar 25 i think there's like a belt in here because i can kind of hear it yeah it's just regular tennis ball attached to a string um this is the brand that they have at the dollar store if y'all have ever been to the dog section it's usually literally from it just says dog dog toy and it always has this dog on the top of it um and i just know that she loves to play tug of war so i figured this would be good for that and if i just give her a regular ball she always breaks it i figured if this ball is attached to maybe a rope like she would associate it that this is to play with and not just to break it she might break it regardless but yeah, I just, I don't know. For $1.25, I thought this was good. And I know she would really like it because it's not just a ball. It's not just a rope. It's attached together. And, you know, she'll run after this or play tug of war with me. She loves to pull on one end and me have me pull on the other end. So I thought this was such a steal. Um, at the dollar store, I also picked up this dog grooming mitt. Now, I've heard a lot of good things about this. I feel like I've seen it a lot on TikTok and stuff. I don't know how good or accurate those reviews are or how good this specific mitt will work. Maybe the other ones work better. Or maybe this just doesn't work in general. I'm not sure, but if this could be tested on somebody, a husky is the way to go because they have a lot of fur. So essentially, it's just a mitt. You put it on and then right here you have the little spikes and you just like, I guess, pet your, your dog and the fur comes out. So I'm really hoping that this comes in clutch because I always have to brush her with a regular brush and obviously she doesn't love that so i think with a mitt it might be better because she's just gonna get the idea that i'm petting her so i'm just hoping with this she'll have the illusion that i'm just petting her and that she will you know allow me to remove some of her fur so that she's not just carrying all that extra fur so yeah i got that at the dollar store and that was pretty cool because on amazon this stuff is a lot more expensive i don't know if it's better quality but yeah so i got this at the dollar store while i was there i also picked up some poop bags because <laughs> <laughs> they're called dog waste bags be for real so i got these i just thought they were so cute realistically i probably don't need them i purchased some a while back and i still have plenty um but these are just like teal and then these are teal with doggy paws on them and her collar like her leash is teal um because i ordered her two i have this one that i have to return and then i have a teal one that she currently is using I don't know, it just matched her, her leash and I just thought it was cute and you can't go wrong with waist bags. So I purchased these, but I 
I also tend to purchase like extra things that I feel like I don't necessarily need. I'm like, oh, it's only $1.25, but it adds up and yeah, but I got these. So at least I'll have extra and you know, at the dog park, sometimes they don't be having and I can give it to like some of her um, friends and stuff because I always take her. Um, next up, I got her this bandana. I do be dressing up my dog sometimes, um, especially if it's like a holiday or an event. She has her little outfits in a drawer. She has bandanas. She has all the stuff. Um, costumes and yeah I was at TJ Maxx and that's where I saw this on sale it was literally three dollars um it's usually four dollars so it was only a dollar off but it's from Tommy Bahama which I feel like it's a good brand and it's a pet bandana I just like the quality the quality is extremely soft and I don't like to put like nothing itchy like or super poofy on her because I don't want it to bother her you know like I when, I'm sure like when when you guys were younger when I was younger I used to wear those tutus and things like that that were like itchy on me and I don't want to put her through that I'm not one of those moms either but I do like to you know put something on her so this was extremely soft it looks comfortable and cute so that's why I purchased it I just thought it was just very cute and practical it has some of those gold um glitter hearts occasionally around the bandana but most of them are just red I love the color red Valentine's Day is going to come up obviously every year so i just thought this could be her fit you know so i don't have to be putting her in like outfits that she probably won't want to wear so yeah very good quality and i got that at tj maxx for three dollars and last but not least the last thing i got and this is for my car because they're i have my both of my dogs always in my car when i take them to the park i got this um seat cover for the back it basically you attach it to the seat and it's just like a long um, seat cover for the dog so that they're not like releasing all their fur onto the actual seat or trying to jump over the car seats or things like that so this is clutch i actually already have one in my car and then i ordered this one for backup because sometimes they do you know after a certain while they do kind of like start developing that smell or you know they get really dirty and even though i clean mine I just always think it's good to have backup. So this is my backup organizer right here. And I'm telling you, this comes in clutch like, like nothing else. This is such, so key. Like if you have a dog, you need this. I'm telling you, if you have a dog, you need this. Um, so yeah, this I got off of Amazon and they have really good prices there and, you know, different organizers that fit different cars. So you can obviously pick which one you prefer best. Um, but yeah, guys, so with that being said... Obviously, get your car organizer for your dog. That's like a must. Um, I obviously got as well while I was shopping like some things for my car, which I'll do a separate video on because I don't want to make this one too long. But I basically just got some wipes. I got some protectant, just things to like keep my car fresh and clean because having dogs in your car is wear and tear. And like people don't realize like how much wear and tear it is until their car is really really bad so i'm trying to help y'all out here <laughs> with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video and make sure you stay in tuned because i got some exciting content coming soon if y'all want to see a part two because um, like to you know more things that i buy for my dogs and stuff let me know because i feel like i'm always shopping for them and even when i'm shopping for myself if i see something that reminds me of them i'm like hmm put it in my car okay yeah yeah oh um, i remember at some point i was like i literally worked to maintain my dog's lifestyle that's how i felt at some point so um yeah i can definitely do a part two to this if you guys want to see that um but like i said other than that i'll see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye